So back in wrestling, Coach Polk, right? Thanks for bringing him up. He was a good man. I loved Coach Polk, and all of us did. We we wrestled strong primarily because of him. And uh, uh, he wasn't a wrestler. He never wrestled in his life. So he was kind of winging it. He was winging it as our coach. But we had such a great time. I couldn't wait to get to wrestling practice every day. Kirk Shepard and I uh, uh, used to, because of the basketball team, you know, they had to use the gym on some days of the week, so we couldn't. So we had to practice at, at 5 o'clock. So after school ended, Kirk Shepard and I used to go work out and play handball on the second floor of the uh, high school. <laughs> and then when, when time came for practice, we'd go down and we'd work out with That's the team. That's great. And that formed a fast friendship. You guys had a good wrestling team back at that time, too. And it, it led, you know, that whole thing, Bay eventually, I think that was one of the first state championships Bay ever won right after that. Yeah, wrestling. after that, not yeah. our team. But we had some really good wrestlers on our team. I thought so. And you played football as well, right? Yes, I did. And uh, it was the first time I ever played linebacker. I was the monster back. Mm -hmm. And I was really good because I was so quick. Kurt Van Gutten was the guy who was the uh, the, the real leader of the defensive team. And uh, Coach Llewellyn uh, kind of gave him free reign to do whatever he wanted to do on the field. When I got on the field, Coach told me what to do. So, <laughs> But I was really quick. I could get in the line and oh. and uh, get guys behind the line. So I loved football. You were you were just a couple of years before Coach Llewellyn left Bay. So uh, yes. uh, did you revere him as a coach, just as so many others did? He was a great coach. I didn't know him personally like I knew uh, Mr. Polk. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but uh, Coach Llewellyn was funny, and he cracked jokes. You know things that you wouldn't expect an adult to say to a high school kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But On was, the football field, it was fair game at the yes, time. Yes, it was. And one of your fellow inductees this year in the Hall of Fame is Rich Voyers. And yes. he was one of your coaches as well, right? He was our defensive coach. So as he, a monster back, you were getting coached by him. I was, and getting yelled at by him. <laughs> I wondered if that was going to come up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it was a tough one, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah. I remember that, uh, you know, I don't know if I should tell this story. But, yeah, go ahead. Um, I remember the time when I was, uh, they were trying me out at safety. And when you do an end sweep, the safety is supposed to run up and turn the play in. So uh, I didn't run up to turn the play in, I ran in so the guy could get out. And uh, Mr. Boyers comes over and takes my helmet by the face mask and goes, I told you! And he told me, gave me instruction all over again. <laughs> But you know he was an excellent coach, and I and all of us revered him too. Yeah, there's there's many stories of face masks being grabbed and shaken <laughs> back in the day. You definitely, know, he denies it now though. <laughs> yeah. 